What's going on guys, Storm6678 here, uh, bringing you back another tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be real quick. We have a tutorial for Impact, more specifically S underscore Shake. This is a Sony Vegas tutorial, however, if you want to follow along with After Effects, it is a very similar concept, almost the exact same. Uh, this is just going to be real quick. So, um... Before we get into this, I'm going to say be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like content like this. Um, you don't know how much it means when you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. It actually means a lot. My analytics are through the roof right now, except for one thing. It's saying that 70% of you guys aren't even subscribed to me. So uh, if you guys are watching this, you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you don't like my videos, you can always unsubscribe. So. Um, just any uh, help is appreciated, and um, yeah, let's get into this. So, what we have right here is we have a clip right in the timeline, and then we have the song. I have it like kind of synced up, not really. Um, so, for impact overall, what you're going to want is on the I sync it on the shot, and you can sync it on the hit, like especially when it's far away, like this is like a hundred meter shot, probably. 90 meters, excuse me. Um, so here, this is what we have so far. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Um, it, we, I did this completely by accident. It just so happened that the um, pickaxe got to sync with the... Yeah, <laughs> sync with the song. But Alright, so the major, major, major thing is you want the shot where you see that muzzle flare right here. You're going to want that on the bass drop. You can tell the bass drop, especially in Sony Vegas. This is why I prefer, so one of the reasons I prefer Sony Vegas over After Effects is because of the um, audio timeline. Um, so right here is where the bass quote unquote drops. It's not actually like a bass drop, but like, you know what I mean. All right, so that's where we want our shot to happen is on that beat. Uh, okay, so the first thing, the very first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a screen pump. Uh, screen pump is a very, very simple technique. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to click this little square right here next to the FX. Uh, I am using Sony Vegas Pro 16, so it might look a little bit different on, I want to say 12 through 14 is a little bit different. Uh, but it's all the same thing. So for a screen pump, um, what I do is I try to turn the corner, like it depends on the hood. So uh, this player's hood is kind of small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in past the map right here. But typically when the hood is like regular size, I'll do it like this point in the middle of the map. So you're going to go like a little bit past the map. You want it to be like recognizable. And then I'm going to zoom in down here. I'm just scrolling my scroll wheel to zoom in, scrolling it up. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go to somewhere between 12 and 24 seconds. I'm going to go right in the middle. You're going to right click and click restore. All right. So what that's going to give us is something super simple. Let me just pre-render this for you guys. Just a simple screen pump. You gotta stop me so that looks pretty clean, guys. You know what I mean? But it's not necessarily impact. It's more so like I would classify this as syncing, right? So you sync the shot up with the beat of the song um, with a screen pump. Now, in order to get that impact, that like shake, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down. And you're going to find S underscore shake. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. Uh, I have a bunch of presets from Deer Edits. But I made my own uh, Impact Subtle and Impact. Um, you can, uh, what's it called? You can adjust it to your liking. But I suggest you kind of follow along and see what you like. Like some instances based on the song, I'll do more impact or less impact. Uh, so you're just going to take this, 
I double clicked but you can drag it down onto the clip and you see that we have the shake right here now I have the amplitude frequency uh, all of that nice and whatever uh, you can copy these settings if you would like but I'm gonna explain what they do so the amplitude is essentially how far the shake moves uh, back and forth alright so if it's going like for Fortnite videos I'll get into this a little bit but you want it to move on the y-axis so it's gonna go up and down right uh, so this is essentially just going to make it so how much it moves, all right? Now, with frequency, frequency is how fast it moves, all right? So if you want it to be like super quick, you're going to turn it all the way up. I don't recommend that, but um, I have mine at 9, but I will play with it depending on like how it looks, and then... If you want it to be like a slower impact, you put it closer to zero, all right? So amplitude is how much, frequency is how fast. All the other settings I don't really play with. You can increase or decrease the motion blur depending on how much you want, but I don't really mess with that. I keep it at one. Um, for example, like if you're doing a different kind of impact, one thing you could do is turn the motion blur to zero and then t put like a radial blur on it uh, that would look like a little bit different but I keep the uh, motion blur on and make sure you have this box checked now here's where it gets fun so you're gonna open the X shake and the Y shake alright so for the X shake I have the X wave amp all the way down to zero so essentially what that does is it makes it so it only moves up and down the Y shake so like I was saying earlier with Fortnite videos, you want the shake to be up and down, not left to right or diagonal. You can. I have done it in videos, and it doesn't look terrible. Uh, you just got to execute it to a certain degree, uh, basically. So make sure you turn that X wave amp all the way down to zero. And then Y, you can play around with the settings, but this is what I have. Uh, for my settings, you can go ahead and copy these numbers, pause the video. Um, but that's essentially what I do. So now, ready? Watch what we have. You're like, yo, why is it still going? Watch. Now that looks like doggy doo doo, okay? So we're going to fix that up. Now what we're going to do is you're going to click on the F to go to effects. And what you need to do, need to need to need to do, if you don't know how to do this, you're going to keyframe the amplitude. All right, so you're just going to click this, animate. All right, and uh, since this is like a long second half, you're going to zoom in by scrolling up. And same thing uh, around the, between the 12 and the 24 mark, you're going to go in the middle somewhere, and you're going to turn that bad boy down to zero. All right, so this creates like a little, um, like a decrease, a uh, steady decrease. But we want to like kind of make it look a little bit smoother than that, like have it fade out. So I'm going to pre-render that right now, see what it looks like. You gotta stop me it always, uh, Sony Vegas always lags on when I use Sapphire plugins. You gotta stop me so that looks like okay. Uh, personally, I think it's a little bit, the frequency is a little bit too high for that. But um, one thing that I've been doing is adding a third key marker uh, a little bit closer to the zero point. So like right around here. And then what I do is I drag it a little bit closer to the beginning so you have that really fast impact and then it slows down and has a nice steady decline to the zero uh, this is uh, something that a lot of people recommended me do is have the impact instead of be so sudden have it fade out so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click here you're gonna right click that dot you're gonna do fast and then here you're gonna do slow Oh, whoops Make sure you click on the dot and then right click, slow, click on the dot, right click, slow. Alright, now let's see how it looks now.
Might have to play it a couple times. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of the frequency of this right now. Um, so it's not going to be perfect. I'm just doing this for tutorial sake, but I'm going to turn that frequency down to like six and then turn the amplitude down to like 0.5. Uh, I, like I said, like this is one of my presets, but I do change it based on the song. This is a more like chill, upbeat song. If it was like screamo or dubstep, I would probably have it wicked aggressive uh, impacts. So let's see how this looks. Alright, that looks like pretty good. It doesn't look horrible. Also, like then again, it's not perfect. I'm doing it for a tutorial sake. If I uh, was making a montage, I'd probably spend a little bit more time on this, but I'm not trying to make this tutorial extremely long. Um, so, one more rule of thumb. <clears throat> you're gonna When you go to the pan crop, right, like the uh, screen pump, you're going to go to that marker, right, where it goes all the way to zero. Uh, you can um, make this a slow fade and a fast fade. I typically do. But on this is a general vicinity of where you want that impact to fade out, right? Maybe even like a little bit beforehand, but that's kind of where you want you want your impact to line up with the screen pump. Uh, if you don't have a screen pump, it looks really, really, really weird. Um, so that's that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys one more thing that I add uh, to my impacts to kind of make it a little bit spicier. I go up to S underscore glow here, right? And I have a bunch of deer presets. Deer's the goat. Um, if you don't know him, search deer edits on YouTube. He His edits are so clean. Uh, this is my personal favorite, uh, X Glow 2. It's like really like hazy. Um, so the orange like kind of matches. I like the warm vibe. Um, but I'm probably going to do like something closer to like reddish pink. Yeah, like that. All right. So I add this, uh, I'm going to turn that threshold down so it's brighter. And now I'm going to keyframe the brightness guys. All right. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch, scroll this up. I always like to have a lot of space down here. Now, when I add glow to my impact, I typically like put it a little bit past the impact so it like fades out a little bit differently. So you're going to fade that to zero and then add a third keyframe and put it like somewhere in the middle. Uh, typically that's what I do uh, when it comes to glow, uh, have it fade out a little bit more. So that's like a simple impact, what you're going to do uh, when you do use impact on a clip. Uh, this is for a trick shot clip. It's literally the same for a creative clip. Uh, you just time it up when that muzzle flashes and add the screen pump and S underscore shake. Honestly, that looks pretty clean. I like that. So one thing um, to like kind of wrap this up. Uh, you're going to want to add sound effects. That actually completes the impact when you add sound effects. Uh, so all I did was right click, insert audio track, and then drag the track below the song. That's where I do my uh, sound effects. I'm only going to do a couple for you guys. And um, all right, so I have my sound effects folder up. Let me just find this. Snipers. Uh, so I down I bought a sound effects pack. I highly recommend if you can't find one for free to buy it. This one I forget whose this is, but it um, really really makes a difference. So we're gonna do bolt action common shot. Let's see what this is. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so you're obviously gonna want the sniper shot, right? So we're gonna do something super super simple. We're gonna go back to Fortnite sound effects. Um, Impact, da, 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 da. is there it's whoosh? Okay, so whooshes are, um, whooshes and sh sh da, 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 da. swooshes 
are what you want for sound effects. So you kind of want like a little bit of a build up. Um, that's like shitty. That's not terrible. I want something like. That's a pretty good one. There it is. Whoosh for kills. That's that's what I like. Okay, so this is super simple. Like I add a ton more sound effects when I'm in um like editing a montage or whatnot. But so like I'll add a sound effects effect for when they hit the shock wave and then when they swing their pickaxe and then when they pull out their gun. Oh, this isn't even a bolt sniper, it's a hunting rifle. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you this. So uh, sound effects really do um, complete the impact if, you, if you're looking to make good impact. So what I do is I put the, the sniper shot on the, uh, the shot, obviously, where the muzzle flash is. And then you want to time up this uh, whoosh. It's whoosh for kills for this one to where it's the highest peak. So it's going to build up and it's going to hit that highest peak. Now one little secret that I do that not many people know about is I fade both of these out just so it's a little bit cleaner. Now I know for a fact that these are going to be wicked loud. Like these two are going to be so loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down a little bit just by clicking where my hand comes in L and dragging down about halfway. Now let's see what this looks like. Oh my god, that literally destroyed my ears. Um, yeah, you want that way, way softer. Alright, let's see. Alright, well, that looked like shit. But, um, you guys get the point. So, that that's not really like... The point of this is, you want to have a sound effect in order to make that impact an impact. So you guys can kind of hear it. Um, I don't know why this is so freaking loud. Holy crap. I do not like it. You gotta stop me oh, you can't even hear it because I turned it down so much. Sorry, now this is just a video of me editing, guys. <laughs> um, damn, we're almost at 20 minutes in. You gotta stop me Good. So that's it. Um, I have the I'm gonna have the final render out uh, at the beginning of this video if you haven't already seen it, and then I'm gonna play it a couple times afterwards so you guys get the gist. Now, um, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see an update on the impact, uh, kind of like in a part two almost, because there's a lot more things you can do uh, than just the screen pump, the S shake, and the S glow. Uh, there's a lot more t to add to it. If I click on this. And then I go to add FX. I have a bunch of presets with like impact shiny with bubble, impact puff. Like I have a bunch of different impacts. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial, uh, just let me know. And um, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Any support's appreciated. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Standing, you gotta stop me.